First one is Trello. Trello is a Kanban style collaboration tool that organizes your projects into boards in one glance. So, tells you what you've been worked on, what's working on what, where's something is it in a process. Um, with the Kanban way, I don't know what that is, I think. This is a visual system that shows you where a specific task is at in the whole process. Ah, okay, here it is. Yes, I will use it. I do know similar non-Google apps that um, organize that kind of money as well. Um, collaborate is what I'm using. But uh, Katie Planners move on. Slack. Slack is a collaboration of communication hub that can replace email and team management to help you and your team work together effortlessly and with less confusion. A Slack workspace is made up of channels where team members can communicate and work together in Slack. Um, let's kind of summarize that. So I went to Poland, fought for the climate change and uh, indigenous rights of our Maori people. And what I learned over there is that our government entities were working on Slack. Foreign government entities were working on Slack. Reason being is because in terms of business and uh, mahi of that level, you can get a lot of things done. You can send messages, you can send documents, you can plan meetings, you can plan events, you can add um, your calendar system. So Slack is something that I will look into uh, during the, this program, Kahal. Um, and I would, you know, throw the mihi out there to those that are already doing it and doing it well because I'll learn from, from you guys. Know, um, Buffer is a social media management app that helps business organize their content in advance and automate its release for maximum visibility and brand awareness. It also has an analytics, analytics feature that leads us for your engagement. Each of our posts has got it and helps us decide the best types of content to share and when to share with our audiences. Um, cool, cool. There's heaps out there as well on Facebook. Um, so if you manage Facebook pages, They've got the Facebook business page, and on there it gives you everything all in one, two, three, four tabs um, that allows you to, I guess, see where the viewers are coming from, how many viewers you're getting per month, how many people are staying engaged and following, liking, um, sharing, all that kind of stuff. And it seems to me like Buffer would be the same bit of a business level, so I will consider that one. Mini chat allows you to create chatbots for Facebook Messenger. Oh, cool, so that there are automated replies. So if there are simple questions that people are going to keep repetitively asking, oh, I don't know how to, I don't know how to, then you can write that all down and then you can send that out to the chatbots. So when those questions are asked, those replies are sent. Um, don't quote me on that one, but that is my understanding so far of what many chat is. LastPass is a password manager app that generates and stores encrypted passwords online. Cool, dangerous, be careful. Uh, with your passwords online and security if the device you've put it on or the place you've put it on is um, unlocked or gotten into then it's uh, that's all your passwords got uh, for myself what do I do I use multiple accounts and multiple passwords across uh, many social platforms but I just have a good memory so I keep it up here uh, Loon Loom is a screen recording tool that allows you to make quick videos capable of capturing your screen. So let's just summarize that one. Loom is like anything to do with what's on your screen, whether that be on your phone, I think, and also on a iPad or a Mac. You could screen record it. Uh, a lot of kids nowadays know how to screen record it. It's on all their videos. And what that, is, what that does for us is that we can use like what I'm doing now, the screen record uh, feature, and it has a camera on there as well, and it records audio, uh, so that it can allow you to either do something and, and someone can watch it and learn something from how you've done it, or uh, come up with little segments, tutorials to help people through their content. So if someone in a corporation like Marupaku was having trouble, and they didn't know how to go through something, you would either say to them, okay, what do you need help with, and help them on the spot, or you can run through it, like they would do it, loom it and record it, and then email that out to them immediately after it's finished, so that they can go through and be like, wow, I actually know how to do it now, based on the loom video that you watched, instead of writing down documents, um, getting them to go online to what it's already out there, you've got that instant engagement with the, the customer or the client, um, allowing them to understand also what you can do. 
So, kia ora loom, I like it. Uh, I use Zoom myself because it has way more features in terms of streaming, but uh, it is helpful. So the next one is Calendarly. I hope I said that right. Online appointment schedule software that was used showcase. Um, I myself don't, really, don't use that just because Google Calendar is one of my Android devices and on my uh, Mac devices or iOS devices I've got my own calendar. Keep your calendars separate for now. That was an ugly week. Gum. Uh, hey, Zoom. Zoom is a video, audio, and web conferencing tool that allows people to call. So, you know what FaceTime is. You know what uh, calling someone is, and it is not time to sync. Cup light. And um, yeah, so Zoom is like a conference style. So you think of conferences, and it's for businesses, it's for entities. Um, Zoom can record meetings, it can manage meetings, it can mute people, it can uh, it can share your screen as well, so you wouldn't need to use Loom, it's all in the one software, you can share it onto Facebook or get it out to Instagram or um, all these social media apps and stream it live, you can save it to cut and edit later, you can, oh, so many things, I mean, you can record the audio of your official meeting and then you can go back through and get someone to transcribe that. And I think there is uh, a plugin that they're developing at the moment so that it can listen to things and then transcribe it for you. Uh, but I don't know how far along Zoom is with that one. Stay tuned for more, I guess. Yeah. Number nine, Zapier. So let's get through this module. Come on, come on, Emos. Zapier is an online automation tool that integrates apps together and takes care of repetitive work by setting up triggers. With Zapier, you can make sure the little tasks never get forgotten and the results are consistent. Cool. Uh, summary of that one again. If you're a programmer, you understand what um, triggers are and doing the, the back-end coding so that when A goes to B, C happens. When A is clicked, C happens. When B is clicked, C happens. But if B doesn't take you back to A. And what I mean by that is... Uh, you're setting up all these triggers for things to happen in the background and you're going to need some programming knowledge, I guess. Or you've just gone through the fundamentals of programming or the basics. Um, just because when you do go through Zapier, you might get caught up on some, some hiccups. And what I mean by that is, in your head you want to do something, but you need to get it on the computer. You need the computer to automate that for you and you need to run it smoothly for your organization or your group. If you don't know, um, you know, the process or steps you have to go through, then you have to learn from scratch. And if you make one small mistake, it doesn't work. Um, so everything has to run in line when you go into those settings and you set that up, just so that every automation it runs through is the same process and there's no mistakes. And if that's going to happen and there's one mistake, then it's always going to hit that mistake and then it's going to fail and then it's going to loop again. Um, just some programming 101, yeah. Uh, eight, yeah, so Zapier is an online automation tool that integrates apps together and takes care of repetitive work. Now, a lot of fun out there, no lines of mahi, we don't want to do the same thing over and over again, we just want to do it once, and it's effective. So put some time into Zapier, um, so you can get your head around it, because I know at the moment where the whanaua at or the rupu is at, there have been Zoom calls around it, and there have been questions asked around it, and, and you really do just, you know, spend time with it sit with the settings, look at it, understand what it is, understand why it's there, why it's featured for you and what you use it for. Um, and then you can start actually tying them all together as you go along. But that's enough about that one, next. Kia ora. Where are we at? We're 35 minutes in now and it is 9.16, so we're tracking quite nicely. I think I might cut this at 45 and then have a cup of tea. And then we'll come back and get through the paperless system, do more in less time, but I'll be talking faster and getting to the point straight away. Uh, so this is a downloadable tools list. And then you can tick off the ones that you use. So I use Chrome, I use Drive, I use Docs, I use Sheet, I use Slide, I use Calendar, and I use Mail. Let's go to this one. I will use Loom. I will use Zapier, I will use Zoom, and I will use Slack. The rest of them, I don't know yet, but hopefully the Goropu can catch me up on that one. Uh, Asana. No, no, no. Google Hangouts, yes, was mentioned in our um, online Goropu meeting with Tomata Taya. 
workplace by Facebook, something I'm interested in because you want to link everything to Facebook at the moment, hot in New Zealand. Uh, but it is slowing down because kids are jumping on TikTok and all these other apps. Uh, but for now, it is good to market and promote. Buffer, no mini chat on the list. Interested. Uh, last pass, Bloom, easy. Master at it. Cut and delete. Cut it. Zoom, yes, all those. Um, alternative tools, cool. So, cut by Pakama Toto, test your skills. Now, I've done this one already, completed it, so we're going to move on. It's pretty simple. You can see in the following process of this video that I should know enough. Uh, put more time and effort into in the in the future, but because I've just first sat down at this computer, looking at the mahi, ready to go. Setting up your digital office. Whoa! Ow! It's funny how good it Stop that video there. You guys know the deal. It's five minute twenty long, um, and I'm going to summarize that video here for you right now. A digital office. What does the office look like to you? Let's go back to an old school office when offices were made for people here in New Zealand. Uh, you get a desk. You get a square box or a square space that's yours to set up all your tools that you need to get the job done. Now imagine that at home, like where I am. I'm at home, comfortable, uh, it's a bit of a mess, but I'm at my little station here. You know, and I've got myself set up pretty comfortable to be able to do what I do. So that's the digital office funo, and the way it works is, well, you can't just do this, make a video and laugh at yourself. You've got to put it somewhere that's going to have an impact. Um, and everything this program is about is going to help you get setting up your digital office. So if you've downloaded Chrome CarPi, you know how to make your accounts on Google. Uh, link them all together so that all your Google apps are verified and certified and safe, secure, and then you want to go through your settings. Start setting up settings for each app so that you only have to do it in the beginning, you don't have to keep going back, but know in your head what you want to do going forward. I hope you can keep up with this one, but uh, let's go! Your digital filing system, so you've got Google Drives. Now I have set that up for the Ropu. Uh, way in the very beginning, but I know now they're coming up with ways to sort that out themselves and how to link it together But once this is done, I will give that out to the Fano, and all of this content will be in it as well So I'm gonna be cutting a lot of editing footage after this uh, And ties to what's being screen recorded and then we're gonna work that together into little segments and cut them into different spaces and then upload them online for you guys to watch so that you guys get the Tomata Tael, the innovative universe of how a program can be run. And um, I look forward to seeing all the uh, next cohorts coming through produce material of this quality or higher. No, definitely higher. Fire Jitsu Kangami Fano Kitetu Gwe Mehemo Ngotei There you go. Look that one up on Google when I ask an uncle. Yeah.